Welcome to Alderman Farms. I'm Patty, and it is November. And what that means is each day of the week, except for Sunday, there will be a video featuring one of the ladies listed below in the description making something with dough. Saturday is my day, and today I'm going to make zucchini bread. First, we're gonna mix our dry ingredients. To my bowl, I've added two cups of flour, and we're gonna also add in a fourth of a teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and one teaspoon of salt. We're just gonna add that all in my, our bowl. We're just gonna mix that in. We want that mixed in real good. And then we're gonna set this bowl aside and get our bigger mixing bowl that we're gonna mix our liquid ingredients in. And to this bowl, we're gonna add three eggs with two teaspoons of vanilla. I've already added that in. One and three-fourths cup of sugar and one cup of oil. All right, we're gonna mix this all together with our hand mixer. You just want to mix this until it's well incorporated and then we're going to add in our dry ingredients a little at a time and I'm going to stir it in with a fork and then I'm going to use my mixer again. I picked zucchini bread for today's video because it freezes so well and it's nice to be able to just pull it out of the freezer if you need a quick dessert or a quick breakfast. At the end of the video, I'll show you a trick to freeze your bread where you can have it ready for you anytime you want. All right, we're gonna mix this again until it's just, just till it's incorporated. Okay, I have already grated my zucchini, and after I grated it, I measured two cups, and then it's been draining. And so I'm gonna add that to my mixture, and you're just gonna stir that in. You could use your mixer to uh, mix this in too, but it kind of gets clogged up in the, uh, in the beaters, and so I like to just kind of stir this in by hand. You just wanna be sure this is mixed all the way through, and then you're done. I'm using disposable bread pans because I like the size of them. You can use a regular bread pan and you'll just need one bread pan, but these are much smaller, so I'm gonna use uh, two of these. I like to use a measuring cup when I put it in my pans. I can kind of measure it, but not mostly for measuring, but just I can get a lot more in there than just spooning it in and it's not quite as messy trying to pour it. You'll need to scrape the last little bit out by spoon. Now they're ready for the oven. For uh, You bake these on 350 degrees for about 30 minutes and check them. Alright, I checked it after 30 minutes and it wasn't quite ready and so now it's been 40 minutes so let's go take a look at it now. Okay, now I like to always test mine with a toothpick 
And it's the same rule of thumb as for everything else. If you insert the toothpick and it comes out clean, then it is done. The way I knew that it wasn't quite done, it had started browning uh, on the sides, but the middle part was still very light. And so that's how I knew it wasn't quite ready and I added a little bit more time. Then when it looked all over brown, test it with a toothpick and now it's ready. Now, how to preserve this. Let this cool in the pan for about 15 to 20 minutes and then try and dump it out. This bread is very moist and it is kind of fragile, so it's it'd be good if you let it cool in the pan. If you can't help yourself, I'd cut it while it's still in the pan. Also, if you're gonna freeze the bread and you've baked it in these pans, what you can do is just wrap it in saran wrap in the pan and put it in your Ziploc bag. It's very, very important when you go to freeze anything that you use double layers. With my zucchini bread, my preferred method will be to wrap it in saran wrap. A nice sheet, and my, my saran wrap looks like it's shrunk, but it hasn't, it's just gotten stuck together. But anyway, you'd wrap it good in a piece of saran wrap, or you could put it in a storage bag. But very important, you wanna get all the air out of it. After you've done that, then you are gonna put it in a freezer bag. The most important thing you do is double bag. If you double bag it, whether it's with storage bag or saran wrap, double bag it, get as much air out as you can, and it'll last in the freezer for about six months. Also, don't forget to check down in the description below and go watch some of my friends' November videos. There have been some very unique and good videos. Thanks for watching.